Have you ever wondered if our ancestors shivered through the winter, or did they have some form of central heating system in place? Picture ancient civilizations, battling the chill of winter. Now imagine them not just surviving, but thriving, thanks to an innovation far ahead of its time. This is the tale of the Hypocost system, an ingenious central heating solution from ancient Rome. Yes, central heating is not a modern luxury, it has a rich history dating back to ancient times. Let's delve into the fascinating world of the Roman Hippocaust system. In the ancient Roman world a warm house was not just a comfort, it was a sign of wealth and social status. As we delve into the birth of the Hippocaust, we find ourselves in the bustling heart of ancient Rome, an empire renowned for its innovations. Among these achievements the Romans invented a central heating system known as the Hypocaust, a monumental stride in the realm of home comfort. The Hypocaust system was born out of necessity. You see, those Roman winters could be quite brisk and the Romans, ever the innovators, sought a solution. They devised a system of underfloor heating, initially used in their public bathhouses, a social hub of Roman culture. Picture this, a network of pillars supporting the floor creating a hollow space. Beneath this a furnace would burn, sending warm air circulating through the hollow space and up through the walls, providing a delightful and even warmth. However, this comfort came at a steep price. The Hippocaust system was labor-intensive and resource-heavy. It required a continuous supply of fuel and a team of slaves to stoke the fires and maintain the system. Consequently, only the well-to-do Roman citizens, the creme de la creme of society, could afford this luxury in their homes. So, the Hippocaust was more than just a heating system, it was a symbol of prosperity. It was a testament to the ingenious engineering capabilities of the Romans and the opulence of the wealthy elite. Now, you might be wondering how did this ancient heating system work? Well, let's delve into the fascinating intricacies of the Hypocaust system. At its core, the Hypocaust was a marvel of ancient Roman engineering. Imagine a furnace referred to as a prefernium that was usually placed in the basement or an adjacent building. This furnace was the heart of the system, pumping out heat like a life-giving organ. The furnace was stoked with wood or coal, generating heat that needed to be directed and circulated. Here's where the real ingenuity comes into play. The Romans built a network of flues or ducts that ran under the floor and up the walls of the building. These flues were covered with a layer of tiles creating a hollow space, a kind of underfloor and in-wall labyrinth. The heated air from the furnace was then channeled through these flues, turning the entire building into a giant radiator. But the Romans didn't stop there. They added a layer of sophistication to this system. The floors were elevated on stone or tile pillars known as pili. These pili created a gap between the ground and the floor, allowing the hot air to circulate freely, warming the stone or tile above. The walls too were double-layered, trapping the heat within and slowly releasing it into the room. This wasn't a system that could be slapped together haphazardly, it required precision, knowledge of heat dynamics, and a keen understanding of construction. It was a complex network that needed to be meticulously planned and executed, a testament to the advanced engineering skills of the Romans. It's fascinating to think that thousands of years ago, without the aid of modern technology, the Romans had figured out a way to warm their homes efficiently. They had no thermostats, no electric heaters, yet they managed to create a comfortable indoor climate during the coldest of winters. The Romans with their innovative engineering had devised a way to keep their homes warm during the chilly winters. Like all great inventions, the Hypocaust system evolved over time. When we first see it in ancient Rome, it's a relatively simple system, designed to heat bathhouses and the homes of the wealthy. But as the years rolled by, the Romans began to refine and improve upon this concept, pushing the boundaries of their engineering prowess. The Hippocaust system began to change, growing from a rudimentary heating solution to a more complex and efficient one. The Romans tweaked the design, adjusting the flue tiles and the spacing of the pillars to maximize heat transfer. They also began to construct hypocausts with a dual purpose in mind, not only to warm up the rooms but also to heat water for bathing. This marked a significant evolution in the system, transforming it from a single-function technology to a more versatile one. But as impressive as the hypocaust was, it wasn't perfect. The system was labor-intensive and required constant attention to keep the fires burning and the heat circulating. It was expensive to build and maintain, and thus was mostly limited to the affluent. Moreover, the smoke from the burning fuel could occasionally find its way into the living spaces, creating a less-than-ideal environment. By the fall of the Roman Empire, the use of hypocausts began to dwindle. 
The intricate knowledge and skill required to build and maintain these systems were lost over time. However, though the Hypocos system fell out of use, it wasn't forgotten. The principles it used, of circulating warm air under the floor and through the walls, can be seen in today's radiant floor heating. Modern technologies have allowed us to refine and perfect this concept, creating systems that are far more efficient and affordable than their ancient counterparts. So, while we may not be stoking fires and tending to intricate systems of pillars and flue tiles, we owe a debt of gratitude to those ingenious Roman engineers. The hypocost system may be a thing of the past but its legacy lives on in our modern central heating systems. Let's recap what we've learned about the hypocost system. This remarkable invention of the Romans, a testament to their ingenuity, was more than just a heating system. It was a symbol of wealth and sophistication. The Roman Hippocaust system was a form of central heating installed in the homes of the wealthy. Its operation was quite intricate, involving a network of hollow spaces and tunnels beneath the floor and walls, allowing hot air to circulate and warm the room above. The evolution of the Hippocaust system over time reflects the innovative spirit of the Romans. It was continuously improved upon, becoming more efficient and widespread, leaving a lasting legacy in the realm of heating systems. The Hypocaust system not only warmed the rooms of Roman villas, but also heated public baths, providing comfort and luxury to the Roman society. So next time you're enjoying the warmth of your central heating, remember to thank the Romans for their ingenious Hypocaust system.